Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm at After Perch. I'm actually unsure as to whether or not I've already filmed an intro to this video. Um, I've kind of spread it out over two and a little bit sessions, two or three sessions. Uh, like I've said to you guys before, uh, the majority of the time when I get out it's normally only for about two hours average anyway. So sometimes a video can be comprised of two or three videos, uh, two, session, two or three sessions. Sometimes it can be one if I do really well. Um, so yeah, I'm out with some new laws that I got sent um, off a guy on Facebook. Um, I think he's got his own web page, so I'll leave that link to the description below um, to his Facebook and his Instagram page. And if he's got a web page, I'll link that there as well. But they absolutely look fantastic. He sent me out a bag full, basically, of soft plastics. Some of them look absolutely amazing. Um, there's some like uh, bullhead imitations, there's some little roach imitations, there's shards, there's creature baits. Um, so I'm going to be using those over the course of a couple of sessions, two or three short sessions. I'm going to see if we can get any donkey perch out on them. The local river is a bit up and down. Uh, we, there's, we've had rain, we've had sun, so um, it's, I guess we'll see how the perch are feeding in this video. I'm trying not to give anything away because I've already <laughs> done a bit of filming for this session. Um, so if you see my clothing change or my hair get longer or shorter, then it's simply because I've filmed this over a couple of uh, two or three sessions over the course of maybe two or three weeks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let's crack on with the video. Some like chub don't really fancy bullhead. Chub don't seem that bothered. Go on. Chub don't really fancy bullhead and it absolutely nails it. What big perch chasing it. Perch well over two pound. Chasing this chub. Nice fish. It's up of about three pound. Get the hook out there. There we go. Right, this is my secret weapon for the big perch. It's a bullhead that he sent me out. These things are absolutely wicked. There we go. Big perch, big perch. Oh yes, it's a tank, an absolute tank. Right, let's go somewhere I can land it. I swear to God, this must be less than five minutes after putting that bullhead on. Absolutely crushed it down in a deep hole. I've just realized there's nowhere I can land it. Uh, I might have to get my feet wet. Well, there's an area I can land here, but I've just got to walk it a long way. Just had this fish resting down in the edge while I set the camera up. 
pegged it in the edge with my net. And uh, oh God, it's a feisty fish, let's put it that way. There we go, absolute beauty. You can see the bullhead hanging out of his mouth there, look. Little bullhead law. Oh, look at that, well presented it's fin. That's exactly what we want. Should have had that for a picture, really. That'd be a nice one, wouldn't it? I'll have to set the timer up soon as this one wants to play ball. Chunk, I think this one is going to go just two pound. It's an absolute beauty. Let's get it unhooked and we'll get him back. There you go, get the hook out. See how chunky this fish is, can't you? Little bullhead. Big, chunky perch. I'll uh, get him rested and we'll get him a quick way before we let him go. Scales out. Got a quicker way of doing it this time. I've actually got to carry a bag in my pocket. Probably the easiest way to weigh perch because the carry bag weighs literally next to nothing. You can slip them in there, you don't do any damage to the, the slime or anything like that because obviously it's just plastic. And uh, yeah, get him a quick way, we'll get him back. I think it will go just over two. Maybe like a 2-2. Two -two. Unfortunately, this weighs in like pounds and grams or something like that. But I'm not too bothered. This is a really cheap set of scale that I just picked up because I don't really use them. And I'm not really a spe much of a specimen hunter, but I think people are quite interested in the weights of fish. I've been asked a couple of times, oh, what was the weight of that fish? Or what was the weight of that? And they're all just estimations. I don't really know. So, so the fish is resting in the water after I run a picture. Get the bag hooked up. There we go. It's saying it's 11 gram. Because I've pulled it, I just tear it. There we go. Not that 11 grams really needs to be teared. Nice, chunky perch. Get in the carry bag. Looks like I'm taking it home for my dinner. Absolutely bang on two pound. Bang on. Sweet. I know it'd be just two pound. See, even though it's quite a big fish, it's not that fat. It looks it, but the, the belly is pretty hollow. Do any fancy release, it's going to have to be in the net because it's quite a steep bank. Beautiful fish, though. There we go. South under the snag. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I can always guarantee that fish isn't going to take it, but I'm going to tighten that drag, give it another go. It was hooked up only for a second before it came off. Never mind. So there might be some more fish over there, you never know. They were normally on their own. Fish! Yeah, it's got a big perch! Big perch! Big perch. It's not quite as big as the first one that took it, I don't think, but it's still fishing not far off two pound. All right, I'll walk downstream and uh, get him on the bank. Well, holy crap. This is actually bigger than I expected it to be. Um, I didn't think this was gonna be as big as the perch it had on the bullhead. But in actual fact, this one is either going to be the same size or maybe even a tad bigger. I actually thought this was going to be more of a pound and a half fish, but it's really chunky. Got it in the net and yeah, it's a really nice fish. Different bait, shad style in white. White always works off a big perch. Oh, I'm giving him a rest as always. I'll somehow pin this net to the bank like I always manage to do, maybe over a stick or something. Set the camera up and we'll take a better look at this fish beauty. Oh, that was 
I've got some absolutely blinding sunlight today. It's incredibly bright. Uh, right, let's take a look at this fish. He's caught in the shadows on the far bank. Nettle has literally just stung my arsehole. So thanks for that. Great. Squash it with a net. The pop Oop. rod. Ah, you can see the shad just dangling out his mouth. For actually a second after I caught it, I thought this could have been the same fish from yesterday. But it's actually got some really cool, almost uh, freckles on this cheek, like speckled markings. It's quite nice, really. Nice, chunky fish. I reckon it might just go two pound, like the one did yesterday. The one yesterday were bang on two. I think this one's gonna be very similar. Maybe a tad less, but not by much. Beautiful fish though, look at them fins, and look at that. Absolutely presenting for the camera. Shad's still hanging out his mouth, I'll get him unhooked, we'll get him back. There we go, carefully. Pop that shed style bait out of its mouth. White, silver, shiny pattern, chunky fish. Fish generally get rested. If you guys Right, as soon as I've got him rested. I'll get a weight on this fish. I've got a feeling it might just go to, it might just be under. It's gonna be a tricky one. It's really feisty because I've had it. Had it resting a little while now, so it's very, very feisty. Right, hold the scales up, tear it off, fish in the net. Oh yes, it's bigger than yesterday's. It's just over two pound. It's about two pound two. Beautiful fish. It's measured in grams, by the way, this, so it's actually uh, tricky to judge it, but it's roughly about two two. I thought it might have been a bit smaller, but it is fat. It's a fat fish. Let's get it back in the water. It's a beautiful fish. Really feisty. That's why you got to rest in plenty. Some people don't seem to rest their fish at all. I've seen people catch pike on the canal and they'll literally just chuck it back. And it just freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> He's feisty ready to go. I've had pictures with this fish and everything. I've even weighed it and it's still feisty as hell because it's been rested plenty. Look at that. Feisty ready to go. Go on. Let's go set some weed there. Me. It's looking at my, looking at my law, stuck to the weed. Nailed it! Oh my god, I was stuck to weed! Uh, okay, it's definitely not as big as that last one. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna get this one up again. You have to walk it. Oh no! It come off! It come off! No! It was only just hooked right on the front of the lip. I saw that. What I've been doing is hooking the fish and walking maybe about 10 yards to the left where it slopes down a little bit nicer. Can actually get the net down a bit easier. Um, so I brought that fish right into the edge. I was just about to walk it a few yards down and uh, hit through the hook. Never mind. I'm just happy that I'm nailing these nice fish. <laughs> these laws really work. Really work for these nice perch. Now I've got myself some new boots. Uh, now that the winter time's come and the wet weather's here and the flooding's here, um, 
I've got some regular welly boots, I've also got some sort of semi-thermal boots and some proper thermal boots ready for when the really cold weather gets here and I'm sat with my dead base out in the water. Now these are from a company called Colmax, they specialise in PVC boots and they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm currently wearing the half cut semi-thermal pair because this morning we actually woke up to a frost um, so it was below zero when I first started fishing this morning and uh, I feel it lovely and toasty. I've also got some very thermal uh, boots but the thing is it's a little bit too warm for them at the minute. I'm saving them for the really cold weather. I'm sure they're going to be nice and toasty. They look absolutely fantastic. Seem pretty durable at the minute. I've uh, been pushing myself through lots and lots and lots of brambles at the minute but still no holes. Seem proper nice and rugged. Uh, if you want to check out these boots just follow the link in the description to their website and uh, grab yourself a pair. I'm searching for jungle, fruit jungle to try and find me water. Try and find the river. Well, my jungle warfare has led me to a sort of likely looking spot. It looks good. Obviously, there might not be anything here at all. <laughs> and if there is, they might not even want to eat it. Fish. Oh, that was a big perch. Oh, shit. That was a big perch. That was easily over two pound. I put a small jigger on this bait because I don't have any uh, offset rigs. Um, and I want to avoid weed as much as possible, so I've gone for the smallest hook I could have gone with. And uh, I'm instantly regretting that decision, <laughs> seeing as I've just lost a good sized perch. Obviously, if I were using a bigger hook, I might have actually had a better hook up. Fish down here. Trying to bring it past all the snags. Since I hooked that fish, it might have spooked the others. If that's happened, they might have some underneath the snags and stuff. Fish! Pike! Oh no, it's a it's a nice pike. Oh dear. I'm four pound main line <laughs> because of my light setup. And it's a nice size fish. A nice size pike. I thought it was gonna be a massive perch. I think it snagged me up. Oh God, no, it's just a decent size in that floor. I'm never going to be able to land it. Just going to have to be careful with it. Try not to break. There's steady pressure. God, I can barely get it up. No, it's just a nice fish. I'm going to guess it's got to be at least six pound. Although saying that, on this ultralight gear I'm using, it it could be a bit smaller than that. It does feel a lot bigger. Yeah, I think it is a bit smaller than that. Maybe it's about five pound. The net is ready, but it's tangled up. Great. Ugh. Got these big seeds stuck in it, and they knock up your mesh. You guys know what I mean, them sticky bud things that you throw, to, throw at each other when you're on your way to school. I don't think the perch I want. I couldn't imagine the perch I want to feed after this pike's been thrashing around. Don't break me, don't break me. Oh, oh no, we got out! No, <laughs> we went in the net and shot straight over the top of it. <laughs> Lifted its head up and uh, scooted over the top. No, it is just a good sized fish. I 
I've even brought big laws with me to try these spots for pike. And uh, I avoided using the big law in this swim because I know it looked really good for perch. And I don't want to spook them off by bringing a big heavy jerk bait through the swim. And uh, it seems like the tiny laws, or at least the small laws, they've, uh, they've got the nice pike that's down there. It's in this little river of mine. You guys will probably know from watching my videos. There's not a huge amount of big fish. The average size of pike tends to be around the one to three pound mark. And if you catch anything above five pound, you're absolutely balling. And if you get anything above 10 pound, then it's like uh, you only probably tend to catch one or two of those fish maybe a year. I think this fish is between five and 10 pounds. So it's a really good fish for this river. And one of these little new baits I've got as well is absolutely awesome. Damn it, damn it, I've run out of line. Come on. Yes. Oh, I got it. Oh God, it's a good fish. Man, that's probably a fish of nearly 10 pound. Maybe a bit of an over-exaggeration, but it's probably got to be about seven or eight pound that. It's got a massive head on it. I'm sure in winter it won't be far off 10. You can see my shadow right off the corner of its mouth. It's a beautiful looking fish. Don't fresh, don't fresh. Ah, oh, look at that fish didn't break me. Whoa, look at the size of his mouth. I've got pliers in my pocket, but I figured I'd be able to weed all this thing out of my fingers, but it seems like it's a bit more of a difficult job than I thought. Now, yeah, there we go. All right, I'll give him a rest. I've got some scales on me, so I can actually give this fish away. I can weigh it in the net and deduct the net afterwards or zero the net and then weigh the fish. But that is a, that's a, gotta be around the seven to eight pound mark, I'm sure easily it's got the head on it of a 10 pounder but the body's quite short and actually fairly skinny Fish. Big perch. Big perch. That's what I've been looking for. It's not quite a two pounder, but it's the sort of size I'm after. Probably just under two pound. Really nice looking dorsal fin. Great condition fish. A little bit pale is due to this mucky conditions for so long and the bait very very gently just looks skin hugged on the corner of its mouth absolutely wicked look at that fish like i can say probably just under two pound probably a pound and three quarters oh and the bait just fell off its mouth look at that There we go. Bye bye. I'll give a couple more casts in this spot because you just never know whether there might be some more perch hanging around. Fish. Oh, it's a small perch. I'll take it. I'm wash bashing now. We should maybe. Four or five pounds. I'll take it. You never know. Mummy or daddy might be home. Thought of that little tap. There we go. Oh. Yep. Yep. Holy shit. 
That was a good pike. That was probably a pike of maybe seven or eight pounds. <laughs> good job we got this uh, wire trace on. I f when I first looked into that, I thought I'd hooked a jumbo perch. Well, I knew there had to be something else down there. Well, if there was any perch down there, I'm sure they've all been scared off now. Pike. Is that the same fish? God. If he is, then he's an hungry bugger. <sighs> oh. A bit smaller than I thought. Maybe six pound. They seem to like these laws out. Whoa, I thought it was going to jump at me then. Don't jump. I can see you flexing. Shape. There we go. I knew it was going to go. Just as I was trying to chin him. It's mouth full of nettles, look. That is a solid pike. That is a fish of probably about six pound. There we go. Feeling he's gonna go off like an absolute rocket. Yeah. Kinda of went off a bit pathetic, didn't he? Well, that fish nailed that bait twice. Before I managed to land it, he really wanted it. <laughs> I love these uh these swim baits that I got sent out. Absolutely wicked. <laughs> 